Oso Yuma Kanan Wheel Robotic Kit V2.0 Lesson 6 Wi-Fi IoT Controlled Robot Car Introduction In this project we will connect robot car to Wi-Fi and use an app to control the car through Wi-Fi. This is a typical Internet of Things IoT application. Lesson 1, Lesson 2, Lesson 3 must be completed before doing this lesson. Part I Hardware Installation Please keep all lesson connections same as is and plug out Bluetooth from Wi-Fi Shield. Connect E underscore RX to D18 and E underscore TX to D19. Part I Hardware Installation Mobile App Go to your Google Play or Apple App Store and search app name Osoyu Wi-Fi UDP Robot Car Controller. Download the app and install it in your phone. Please keep all lesson connections same as is and plug out Bluetooth from Wi-Fi Shield. Then remove the connection B underscore TX from D18 and B underscore RX from D19. Visit Tutorials Lesson 6 and download the library zip file from Wi-Fi ESB Master.zip on Tutorial Lesson 6. Then open Arduino IDE. Click Sketch. Include Library. Add. Zip Library. Then add above zip file into Arduino. You can find the Wi-Fi ESP master in Arduino libraries. Secondly download MC Lesson 6.zip on Tutorial Lesson 6. Then unzip the downloaded file. Enter the MC Lesson 6 folder. You will see two subfolder, MC Lesson 6A and MC Lesson 6B. These two folders have program for two Wi-Fi modes, AP mode and STA mode. The Arduino sketches for these two modes are different. Let's explain these two modes one by one. These two folders have program for two Wi-Fi modes. The Arduino sketches for these two modes are different. Let's explain these two modes one by one. When working in AP mode, our robot car itself will become a Wi-Fi hotspot. Our cell phone can connect to robot car as its Wi-Fi client. The IP address of robot is fixed as 192.168.4.1 and it is not connected to WAN. Connect Arduino Mega 2560 board to PC with USB cable. 
Open Arduino IDE Click File. Click Open. Choose Code Lesson 6A.Tino in Lesson 6A folder. Load the code into Arduino. Open your Arduino serial monitor. A Wi-Fi SSID OSOU underscore robot with IP address 192.168.4.1 will show up in the window. This means your robot car has a Wi-Fi hotspot name OSOU underscore robot, its IP address is 192.168.4.1. Now your robot car become a Wi-Fi hotspot and set IP address as 192.168.4.1 to your app settings section. Connect your cell phone to osou underscore robot Wi-Fi hot underscore spot. And you can use mobile phone control the robot car. You can click the direction keys to make the car move. Use vertical bar pause key to stop the car movement. Click obstacle to shift left side, click tracking to shift right side. Click F1 to make upper left diagonal movement, click F3 to make upper right diagonal movement. Click F4 to make back left diagonal movement, click F6 to make back right diagonal movement. STA mode. In STA mode, robot car does not work as a Wi-Fi hotspot. Instead, it will become an internet node in your LAN. You need tell Arduino sketch what is your local router's Wi-Fi SSID and password. Then Arduino talks to router and get its own LAN IP address from DHCP server. You can use mobile app to access the robot car's IP address and control its movement. Open Arduino IDE click file. Click Open. Choose Code Lesson 6B.Tino. In Lesson 6B folder, load the code into Arduino.
you need change the code line 180 and line 181. Replace this with your router Wi-Fi SSID and password. Open your Arduino serial monitor. You will see an IP address which is our LAN IP address assigned by router. Set this IP address to your app settings section. No need change default port 8888 in app. Now your robot car is connected to your LAN. You can use mobile phone under same LAN to control the robot car. If your app is in WAN, you need to go to your router control panel. Forward port 80 to robot car LAN IP address. Then you can use router IP to control the car. This feature makes our robot car a real Internet of Thing device. <laughs>